But Alexander, on his deathbed, called his dear friend and told him, when I die, make two holes in the coffin and put my both hands outside. Let the whole world see the great Emperor Alexander who had amassed wealth that no man could dream of. Emperor Alexander who had captured lands that no man could imagine. The Emperor Alexander who had victories over all his enemies. The Emperor Alexander who was an enemy to all emperors and rulers is leaving this world with empty hands. The same is our case. We cannot take our expensive cars and mansions to the other world, only our good deeds. If we want real happiness in this world, if we want tranquility, we have to be true believers. R.V.C. Bodley, the famous writer, after participating in the Second World War, he was so depressed. He wanted to commit suicide. Accidentally, he met Ted Lawrence, the famous Lawrence of Arabia. Ted Lawrence advised him to spend some time in Arabia. In those days, the Arabs were poor nomad people. They did not have supersonic jets or expensive automobiles. They did not have refineries, oil fields, or supermarkets. Their greatest wealth was camels and sheep. And Bodley was on move with a rich Arab. And one day, a strong sandstorm struck the area. Bodily was frightened, but the Arab was cool. Bodily apprehended imminent death, but the Arab was calm. Arab lost all his camels and sheep. Still, he was patient. After the storm subsided, Bodily asked him, are you not frightened of death? Are you not sad about the loss of your wealth? The Arab smiled and answered, why should I be sad? Why should I be afraid? Allah gave me this wealth and if Allah takes it back, why should I be sad? Allah gave me this life and if Allah takes it back, why should I be frightened? That is the faith. And I'm concluding. Once a preacher said at his deathbed, when I was young and when my dreams had no limits, I thought of changing the world. As years passed, I realized that is not possible. After some years, I decided to change my dear country. After some years, I realized that is not possible. Then I decided to change my society. After some years, I realized that is not possible. At the fag end of my life, I decided to change my dear family. As years passed, I realized that is not possible. And on my deathbed, I realized the ultimate truth. It was I who ought to have changed first. If I had changed first, through my example, I could have changed my family. And through the example of my family, I could have changed my dear society. And through the example of the society, I could have changed my dear country. And through the example of my dear country, I could have changed the whole world. We should not be as unlucky as the preacher. After this, there's a short question and answer session. Kindly ask only relevant questions and judge my answers. I repeat, judge my answers on the basis of Quran and Sunnah. If any of my answer is in conflict with Quran and Sunnah, it is your duty to accept the Quran and Sunnah and reject my answer. And if I fail to give an answer that is not the limitation of Islam, it's my limitation. Understand that. Allahumma ghfir lil mu'minin wal mu'minat wal muslimin wal muslimat. Allahumma hina lil kitabi wa sunna wa mithna ma imani wa tawba. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasna wa fil akhirati hasna tan baqinara da abnara. Assalamu alaikum.